Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. Entertainer Tommy Lee Sparta and his co-accused, O'Brien Smith, have been freed by the Home Circuit Court of lottery scamming-related charges. They were freed after the judge upheld a known case submission by the attorney, Ernest Smith. The sentencing of Police Constable Collis Chucky Brown has been put off until January 3 next year, as the trial judge says aspects of the social inquiry and probation reports need to be tested. Brown was last month found guilty of three counts of murder in the so-called Police Death Squad case. Non-compliant licensed firearm holders seeking to leave the island could be arrested as of January 1 next year when the Firearm Licensing Authority embarks on a compliance enforcement drive. FLA CEO Shane Dallin said the enforcement drive is targeting some 4,000 licensed firearm holders who have not been renewing their permits annually as is required by law. The public defender Arlene Harrison Henry is standing by her report to Parliament that 105 children were detained under the St. James State of Public Emergency. The children's advocate Diane Gordon Harrison says her probe found that less than a quarter of that number was detained, but Mrs. Harrison Henry said she got the figure from the police. In sports, the contract of Jamaica Scorpions cricket coach Robert Samuels will not be renewed next season. Samuels' team has had a string of poor performances this season. In your currency trading today, one U.S. dollar was being sold for $128.20, the British pound sterling for $164.83, and the Canadian dollar for $97.34. In your weather forecast, on Friday morning, there will be showers across eastern parishes and partly cloudy skies elsewhere. In the afternoon, expect widely scattered showers and thunderstorms across sections of most parishes. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.